Hi, and welcome to C Sharp Programming. We will continue on our previous example in the previous lesson. So, in our previous example, we created our first Windows Form C Sharp application. So, let's go to the Visual Studio and continue. So, we saw in the previous lesson all the different panes that we get in Visual Studio, for instance, the Toolbox, Output, Properties, and Solution Explorer. So, all these different panes enable us to do certain things. This is our form. We talked about our form. This will be the output to the user, and we will design our form in such a way for the user to interact in a certain way with the program. We also clicked on the form, and we saw that each form or element has certain properties. So form one has certain properties and we changed the back color to this act active caption color. That's a light blue. And we also saw there's different other um, properties that we could set to do certain things. So you can go and play around with all of these properties and see what they do. What we will do today is we will create a button element and a label element and if we click on the element we will display hello world in text to the user. So let's get into it and see how this would be done. So I want you to go to the toolbox pane on your left hand side corner you will see toolbox. You can click on this auto hide pin. If you click it, it will be set to your left hand side. Okay. Then I want you to go to common controls button, click on button, and then I want you to go and draw a button element on the form screen. So we've got a button element on the form screen. Now I want you to go to label and also drag a label element on the screen. So now we will have two elements, a button element and a label element. So I want you to go and just click on the button element so that it's selected. And then if you go to the properties pane, you will see that button one is now selected. So if we go down to appearance yes to appearance in appearance you will see text and button one now this text in appearance is what the user will see on the form so this button one that text there is what the user will see so let's go and change that text to show text let's say show text so now we see that we have a button element with the text show text on the button okay so this is a normal button it works like any other normal button you will get in a normal application it's clickable and we can do certain things with this by clicking on it then we get a label element now a label element is just text and we can use it to display certain output to the user. So let's go to the text of the label one element. So go to appearance text, and I want you to go and clean out that text completely. Okay, so now you can't see the label anymore, but the label is still there. So if you just drag over it, you will see the label is still there. So what I want you to do is click on button for me again you will see we changed the text of button one but it's still called button one so each element has a certain name in the form and if you go down to design you will see in design the name of this button is still button one they cannot be oops don't click there yet there cannot be any um, other 
element with the same name on the form as this button. So button one will be the only element on this form with that specific name. There cannot be any other name. Okay, so what I want you to do now is we've got two elements. I want you to click on the button element and then double click on the button element. So what will happen now is a function called button one click will be created. Don't worry about any other functions. If you see them, just see that you have the following function private void button one click. Now in this function, we double click now on the, the button and it created this button one click function for us. So when we click on the button, this function will be called. And what do we want to do when the user click on the button? We want to display something in the label. So what we will do is when the user click clicks on the button element, we want label one, the text of label one. Okay, so the text of label one. Now an easy thing that you can remember is when you press dot, there's a pop-up of a lot of functions and um, properties that you can go and see. If you don't see it, like if it's not there and you can't see it yet, you can press control space bar and then it will reappear again. So if you're there, can't see all the elements properties that you can edit off label one, press control space bar and it will be there. So we want to change the text of label one and we want to set it to be equal to hello world. Okay, so we've got a label one dot text and it's set to hello world. So let's go and save this and you will see now that label button label element there that we can't see at the moment, label one. If we click on the button, we're going to set that text now to hello world. So let's save this and we can go back to our design and we built and run now. So as you can see, there's our application running at the moment. So now we can go and click on the button and then hello world will appear and that's it that's how we use the button to create a function okay a function that will set the text of label one to hello world when the user clicks on that button so that's actually a event that we created when the user clicks on the button, it's a event that trigger a certain function, a certain set of code that will do certain things. So actually you have now created your first event. When the user clicks on the button, the text of label one um, is changed to hello world, from nothing to hello world. And if we run it, the user will see hello world on the screen. That's all from me for now. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.